There are two gemstones called jade, nephrite and jadeite. But what's the difference between them? Can you tell them apart by looking? Which one is better for everyday wear? Which one is more expensive? We'll answer these questions and more, so stay tuned. This is Jordan with Jewels of the Trade reminding you not to trust random gemstone information on the internet, especially when it's about jade. So to some people, jade is more of a concept and can mean a lot of different things. Gemologically, however, in the US, we use the term jade to refer to two distinct mineral aggregates. 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 How do I not sound Southern when I say this? Aggregate. Nephrite jade, which is an amphibole, and jadeite jade, or fake choi which is a peroxine. It's acceptable to call both of these gemstones jade because of their history, the way they're viewed by a number of cultures and of course the international trade, and because of their similar attributes. For instance, they can both be green and they're both super, super tough. And yet, they are different. Today we're gonna talk about nephrite and jadeite's differences and similarities in appearance, technical characteristics, sources, and of course, value. Here's a photo of me wearing two bangles. One is jadeite and one is nephrite. Can you guess which one is which? Here you go. Before we get into the nitty gritty, be sure to smash that like button. If this is the video you're looking for, subscribe to my channel and answer this question for me in the comments. If you got to name your own gemstone, what would you name it? You can even include some details about its attributes, like what color it would be. I'll reveal mine at the end. Here. Do nephrite and jadeite look different? Most of the time, yes. These beads I'm wearing are jadeite. This is my nephrite bangle. This is an example of rough jadeite from Guatemala, which actually looks even different from rough jadeite from Myanmar. Here is an example of nephrite jade, which can be an array of colors, but is typically known for its earthy green tone and black specks, which may be graphite inclusions. Nephrite jade is also highly valued in its greasy white color known as mutton fat jade. It's so beautiful. And in fact, mutton fat jade was the highest regarded color of jade in ancient China. It's believed by some that the Chinese created porcelain as a material to imitate jade. Jadeite is what you're seeing here. And in fact, these jadeite head turners are from Mason K. Jade, the leading supplier of natural jadeite jade in the US. So be sure to ask your local independent jeweler about jade from Mason K. Green jadeite can range from this opaque sage green to vivid jelly bean emerald green. And it can have earthy tones as well. We actually discussed the colors of jadeite at length in our video collab with Mason K. Jade, which I'll leave a link to so you can ooh and awe over the lavenders, reds, and more. Both nephrite and jadeite come in an array of colors other than green, but their inclusions and luster are different. And you'll typically see the gummy translucency in jadeite, but rarely nephrite. So nephrite is actually known to have first and foremost a greasy luster, and then secondly, a vitreous or a glassy luster. Jadeite's kind of the inverse, but still similar in that jadeite has a vitreous luster first and foremost, or like a glassy luster. And then secondly, it has a greasy look to it. As far as translucency, I have definitely seen Nephrite jade that I would consider translucent, but the really high-end translucent gemstones that you're seeing at auction that are like glowing, glowing, like they have absolute internal glow and it doesn't even look like it's from this planet, that's jadeite. So yes, you can shine a light through nephrite and see the light come out the other side. It is translucent in that sense, but the translucency of fine jadeite and the translucency of fine nephrite really don't compare. Fine imperial jade refers to jadeite only, as there is a level of internal glow that nephrite just doesn't have. Gemologists can tell nephrite and jadeite apart based on appearance, refractive index, specific gravity, hardness, and more. So we get it, they're different gemstones, but how do their differences or similarities affect you, the customer? Is one better for everyday wear? Well, they're both great for everyday wear. Nephrite is exceptionally tough and is actually harder to break than jadeite. However, jadeite is still very tough and is in fact usually way harder to break than say diamond or sapphire. As for hardness, 
Jadeite is going to resist scratching better than nephrite, but don't let that deter you from wearing nephrite, as one should always take care with jewelry anyways. Keep in mind, if your stone becomes badly abraded or scratched, your local independent jewelry store can actually have those scratches polished out for you. Another difference between jadeite and nephrite is where they come from. Nephrite is much more abundant in the earth than jadeite is. Jadeite is extremely rare. Some geologists claim it's a wonder that it formed at all. Nephrite can come from a number of countries, but most of the nephrite you see probably came from Canada. Did you know that some nephrite comes from the US? We interviewed Jade Diver and Cutter Justin Barrett of Justin Jade on our podcast about his jade diving and cutting business in California, which we'll link to in the description. Jade from the ocean. Ah! And nephrite also comes from New Zealand and Russia and Indonesia and a whole bunch of other places. As of 2021, jadeite had actually only been found in about 16 deposits worldwide, most of them not able to produce any significant quality or quantity of jadeite. Most of the jadeite that you're going to see in jewelry stores is from Myanmar, but you might also occasionally see jadeite from Guatemala which is lesser known and typically has a different look to it, but is of course still tough and still beautiful. So really jade out on the market is only coming from one of two places, Myanmar or Burma or Guatemala. Three places if you count that the sources in Myanmar are actually separate deposits. Which of the jades is more valuable? In jewelry, jadeite jade is one of the most valuable gemstones in the world. Perfectly matched imperial jade beads can fetch literally millions of dollars at auction. Mutton fat nephrite can also be very valuable and so can nephrite carvings from the imperial dynasty. As a rule, nephrite in jewelry is more affordable. If you're wanting nephrite or jade on a budget, you don't have to spend millions. There are plenty of options in the hundreds of dollars range, so be sure to ask your local jeweler. If your local jeweler doesn't carry jade, you can see an array of jade at jade from fun to fine at mkjjewelry.com, and you can even receive 10% off if you use my discount code JOT at checkout, plus an extra 20% off if you're a first time customer. The complicated world of jade is impossible to explain in one video, which is why we have a whole playlist of jade videos here on our Jewels of the Trade channel that will help hopefully answer more of your questions about jadeite, nephrite, and all of the non-jades. At the beginning of this video, I asked you this. If you got to name your own gemstone, what would you name it? And now, my long-awaited answer. A lot of gemstones are named after a person or a thing with the suffix ite at the end of it. If I got to name my own gemstone, it would be a toxic gemstone named after MC Hammer. And it'd be called Hammerite because you can't touch this. I'd name it after pink and call it Pinkite, cause that'd be sick. I'd name it after Sir John Aller, an English nobleman in the 1200s that no one knows about because I found him Googling the name Aller so that I could name my gemstone all right. Thanks everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. Go buy some jade. Leave me a comment, a like, subscribe, do all the things. Let me know what you would name your gemstone. Bye guys.